Hi guys, Jimmy. Hope you're well. Hope you're having a good day. Um, I've been asked by a few people um, about how I set up my um, mailing list and autoresponder. Now, those of you who may uh, might know that uh, there's something going around the internet at the minute called Rippling. And it's a, a social intent incentivized sharing application that just seems to have taken the world by storm. But what it's also do is it, it has introduced a lot of people into the uh, network marketing industry or the make money online industry uh, who haven't done it before. And if you haven't done it before, um, you need to pick up kind of a couple of little tips quite early on, I would suggest. And one of those little tips is creating a list and creating a mailing list, more importantly. Now, there's a few ways you can do that. There are some complicated ways and there are also some one or two really simple ways uh, to do that as well. So what I'm going to do is just show you in a case of about five minutes how we can do that and how we can uh, set that one up. So if you've not yet added me yet on Facebook, uh, the address is there. So it's facebook.com slash success with Jamie. So find yourself on there and there's some uh, kind of posts and content updates and, and that sort of thing there and some quite cool, funky uh, desktop backgrounds. But we'll, uh, we'll not go into that today. So my blog, jamiewater.eu, uh, what I did was I created a post about Rippling, and this has attracted quite a lot of traffic, which is uh, which is good. Um, but the important thing we're going to talk about today here is, uh, well, we've, yeah, we've got a little embed, embedded video, so there's a little picture of me kind of waving and, guys, and, and talking about what uh, Rippling is and introducing the company videos. But importantly, the thing to look at here is, if I can just get my screen draw on for a second, is this link here. So it's jamiewater.eu forward slash rippling. So you click on rippling and then we go to a page. Again, it's got a couple more videos if uh, you came to that page direct and you didn't catch the one beforehand. But importantly, we've got this uh, thing here and this is uh, a rippling mailing list. So the idea is that people go onto this page here, they then fill in the information. So what we're looking for them to do, oops, if I can go back onto my screen draw is we're looking basically we just need a couple of some very simple points so we need their email address we need their first name we uh, need their last name uh, but importantly um, oh sorry and we can do a text link now as well but importantly really is we need their email address because certainly for, for rippling but also future communication we uh, we need to be able to send those uh, details out on email so the question is how do we get that embed link this embed um, page onto here and, and capitalize those email addresses. Well, what we need to do is use something uh, called a mailing list. Now, I use MailChimp. I will put uh, a very cheeky affiliate link in the uh, description on here, so uh, I get a little bit of money on that if you decide to upgrade and, and use the paid versions. Uh, but I use MailChimp. Now, there's a whole host out there. there I think there's Aimweber, um, you know, and a whole host of others, but I personally prefer, uh, prefer the MailChimp. So what I'll do is I'll quickly log in to MailChimp. So we've logged into MailChimp. As you can see, I've just grayed out some of the information in here to protect the uh, anonymity of the people on my list because it's not fair to go out those uh, email addresses and things. So what we're interested in doing is creating a new list. So we can go to the new list and create a list. Create a list again. Now we need to give the list a name. So we'll call it a uh, kind of test. Uh, we need to give it a from name. So from is from me. Reply to email, we can uh, use that one there. Default subject is a subject. If I can spell subject right, see J. Okay, now this is a bit of a reminder for people how they got onto the list. So you signed via my website, jamiewaters.eu, just to remind uh, remember them. Part of the, the international laws on mailing lists and anti-spam and things, they need to have a physical mailing address, and that's my physical address through the PO box. You can ask for um, daily notifications and summaries and, and that sort of thing, and then we can just click save. So what we do now is we go into the, the um, list itself, and what we're looking for is forms. So within this page here, we can now build a particular form. So you can add, add a message. This is the test list for our Ripplin family. Save now. And we're asking for, in this example, the email address, the first name, last name, 
Uh, I tell you what, we will add on uh, a phone number as well. So click on phone, and that puts it in there. Now we don't want to use the uh, sorry that phone format. We'll have it as international. That just makes it a little bit cleaner. Save that field. That just tidies that up. Oh, sorry, we'll rename it to phone. So we've now got an email address, a first name, last name, and a phone number. I think what we'll do as well is we'll just make uh, the first name a required field because I personally hate filling in forms, and I'm sure you all do as well. So the, the least amount of fields you can get away with is probably the better. So for Rippling, certainly initially, we just need first name and an email address. For the last name, I just put a random character just so that uh, we get the code out as quick as possible. So uh, I'll edit the header as well. So I'll change that to... Um, this is the header. Save. Okay, so once we've filled in the form, what we're wanting to do, uh, we can design it, we can add on fancy pictures, backgrounds, and, and uh, things on there, but I'm not interested in that. We're just gonna go to share. Now, what we can do is we can share that particular URL there. So if I copy and paste that into uh, a new tab, Open in new tab. This is the header. So this is our form. If I fill that in, that then gets added onto that particular mailing list. Or what we can do is we can use a HTML link. We can use that QR code if you fancy with QR codes. Or we can uh, embed that form onto an email. So create the uh, HTML code there. We can have a super slim form, a classic form, or what's called a naked form, so people can add their own. Uh, um, CSS, their custom style sheets. So what we can do is copy and paste that and put it into a, a WordPress blog or embed it into another web page. Now we could talk about that in a future video. I don't want to uh, make things too complicated just at the moment. So what we're going to do is go back to the uh, sorry, go back to the share link because. All we want people to do is go to this page here, this URL. So what we can do is we can share out the link on YouTube to some of the videos about Rippling, and then we can share this link as well. So to keep it simple, you can fire somebody to a YouTube video and then say, if you're interested, fire in the, your details on this link here as well. If you want to take it to the next stage, a little bit more advanced and create one web page and have the two together, that's really the way forward but it's, uh, it just takes a little bit longer to explain than a quick five minute video to set up on a, yeah, on a mailing list. But uh, hopefully that makes a bit of sense. Have a play around with mailing lists because they do kind of evolve um, over time as you get used to them, as you get used to adding more forms and, and that sort of thing. But once you've created uh, your mailing list and you, you've got your list together, you can then start to look at campaigns and create a campaign to send that particular uh, list uh, kind of mail updates or random updates or special offers and, and things like that but it's got to be specific to the content that they've opted into so it's it's kind of bad form to to sell somebody another business if they've opted into a specific list about a specific thing it's got to be relative content otherwise people will just fall out of love with you and, and unsubscribe and, uh, and you lose that person so keep the content relative that's a really good tip so guys a little bit longer it was about nine minutes sorry for that so hopefully um, you've picked up there on how to create a form, how to just use the link to start with, um, and then in future chapters we'll put together how to create uh, the same page on a form, but it's really good uh, to embed it into a blog, and that's the really the, the way forward to go from there, but again, that's a bit of a bigger concept, uh, content than five minutes, but hopefully that's helped, I'll speak to you soon, and bye for now.